This is Edwin Velez, and he would love to share his story with you. Uh, good morning, brothers and sisters. My name is Edwin Velez. I grew up in the Philippines in a Christian home where my parents taught me about God's word, and I've attended church all my life. I've always thought that as a child that I was going to heaven because my parents were believers and I was a good boy. So as a 13 year old, I was given the chance to get baptized at a Presbyterian church uh, with my sister. So I decided to. However, I was not a believer and it was not through immersion, which I later learned is a biblical way. I needed to be a believer before I was baptized. As a teenager, I started to attend youth meetings at my church and I realized I needed Jesus' forgiveness of my sins in order to get to heaven. It was not my baptism or my parents' salvation or even me being good that would save me. However, I didn't make a decision at that moment. Later that year, I was home by myself and realized from the youth meetings and my own scripture reading and reflection that I needed Jesus as my savior. It was at that moment I accepted him into my life and asked for forgiveness of my sins. My faith has always been pretty strong, but there was a time in university where I really needed to surrender my life to him in a, uh, at a very difficult point of despair. When I did this, he came through and resolved the problem completely. I was struck at how God came to my rescue when I completely surrendered my life to him, and I have been doing so ever since. In my mid-twenties, I did respond to an altar call, uh, not my first, by the way, but one where I really felt compelled to go and ask for forgiveness and recommit myself to Christ. From that time forward, I must say I suddenly started to understand sermons in a new way. I guess you could call it my epiphany moment, where my eyes and ears were open. I finally knew what they meant when they say, let those with ears hear and eyes see. After my recommitment, I started to be more obedient and leave things up to him. Basically, I started to trust in Jesus' power and guidance, rather than on my own ability and to accept things in my life easily, knowing that there was a purpose or reason God was, God was letting me experience these things. Through baptism class, I learned that the true reason for baptism is an act of obedience according to the biblical evidence, as well as a symbol to identify with Christ. Just as Christ identified with us as humans to go to the cross and take our sins, it is now our turn to identify with him through his death, burial, and resurrection. As I get baptized today, I'm identifying myself as a follower of Christ and following his example in obedience to be baptized. I want to be obedient to the Bible that the proper form of baptism is through immersion as a believer. So here I am ready to do it the biblical way. Edwin, upon your profession of faith, it's with great joy that I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.